Which is a better AI solution, Claude Projects or Perplexity Spaces? In this quick video, I'm gonna try my best to answer that in less than five minutes. So be sure to stick around until the very end. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for that in the description or pinned comment below. So first of all, what is a Claude project? Well, a Claude project is just a personalized workspace that you can use to help manage all of your chats. And you can also upload knowledge and set custom instructions to get better outputs than just using the home screen of Claude like most people are doing. Honestly, Claude projects has been one of my favorite features that Claude has to offer within its platform. The only downside is you must be a member of Claude Pro for $20 a month in order to create these. I We'll leave a tutorial in the video description below that shows you how to create Claude projects if you're interested in learning about that. Now, Perplexity Spaces are very similar to Claude Projects, and this is Perplexity's version of this workspace. There are some differences I'm going to talk about in this video, but you'll see here it is a way to manage all of your different threads in Perplexity. We can set custom instructions. We can upload sources. We can add URLs. So very similar to what a Claude Project has to offer, but there are some reasons actually why I would prefer Perplexity Spaces over Claude Projects. So what are some of the differences between Claude Projects and Perplexity Spaces? And number one is accessibility. This is the most important difference in my opinion. I mentioned this earlier, but you have to be a member of Claude Pro for $20 a month in order to access Claude Projects in the first place. Now, one big benefit of Claude Pro is you do get higher usage of Claude 3.5 Sonnet and all of other the models that they have to offer versus what you get in Perplexity Pro, for instance. But on the other hand, Perplexity Spaces are actually 100% free to create. All you need to do is sign up for a free account with Perplexity, click Spaces on the left menu here, click Create a Space, and then you can start building a space for free. Now, where the difference is for accessibility, you'll see here on the custom instructions, I actually have Claude 3.5 Sonnet enabled so we can use that model in a perplexity space. But the difference is in order to toggle between AI models, you do have to be a member of Perplexity Pro, which also costs $20 a month. And if you're not on Perplexity Pro, you can still use spaces, but you'll be on this auto model by default. So that is the big difference here when it comes to accessibility is we can use spaces for free on perplexity, but we can't use projects for free on Claude. So another difference here are the AI models that you can use. Obviously in a Claude project, we can only use AI models that Anthropic provides, which is Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Claude 3 Opus, and Claude 3.5 Hayaku. Versus on a perplexity space, you have to be a member of the pro tier to even use these different models though. We can use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-40, Sonar, which is perplexity's model, Grok 2, O3 Mini, Gemini 2.0 Flash, and they continually add others over time as well. One recent update that perplexity added is they added DeepSeek's R1 reasoning model integrated with pro searches along with OpenAI's O3 Mini model. So when it comes to the actual models that we can use. I understand you have to be a member of Perplexity Pro and you can't use these for free. I still have to give the nod to Spaces here because you have to be a member of Claude Pro for $20 a month to even build projects in the first place. Another benefit of using Perplexity Spaces is its ability to browse the web, and Perplexity actually takes web browsing to another level. You'll see here we have not only access to the web, we have academic sources, we have social, and we can also leverage the information from, from our Perplexity Space, excuse me. And in addition to this pro search here, like I mentioned, we now have reasoning with DeepSeek's R1 model we can use in web searches. We can also use OpenAI's O3 mini model in web searches searches. And also perplexity spaces can generate images. If I click one of these threads as an example, you'll see a generate image option right here. We can do all these different styles of paintings, photographs, illustrations. If I click painting, it'll generate an image right here on the right hand side. Claude still cannot generate images 
or connect to the internet in real time in 2025. This is an issue that I've been harping about for over a year now, and I really hope Anthropic figures it out. So here's the image that, that or Perplexity, excuse me, just generated. And what's even cool about Perplexity is we can come in here on the settings and we can change the image generation model between Dolly 3, which is OpenAI's, Flux 1, and also Playground V3. So we also have the ability to toggle between different AI image models in addition to the AI text models. Now, another benefit of Perplexity Spaces that I realized as I was recording this video is we actually have more space for sources. We can upload more sources into a Perplexity Space than we can into a Claude project. In this example, I have about 15 sources here, give or take, and I'm already at 62% of capacity. Now, I understand some of these are bigger in file size than others, but according to Perplexity's help documentation, we can upload up to 50 files per space with the maximum file file size being 25 megabits. So we can upload 50 sources here for one space with a maximum of 25 megabits per file. And you'll see all of these files are way less than that. So you can upload up to 50 of those sources versus Claude. I don't think there's a number limit here, but it appears the knowledge capacity is much smaller. So I wanted to call that out as well. Now you might be thinking, well, Ryan, are there any benefits at all to using Claude projects over perplexity spaces? And there are a few. And number one is the usage. If you're a big fan of Claude's models like 3.5 Sonnet, you get much higher usage inside Claude Pro than what you would get in a perplexity space using Claude 3.5 Sonnet or other models. Now, the other benefit that I could think of here as well is if you're on a Claude Teams plan, you can easily share different projects. If I go to the project screen here and click all projects, a lot of these are shared in between the marketing agency that I work with. So if we have different projects for different clients or use cases, we can easily come in here on a Claude Teams plan and share these projects across individual members. Whereas Perplexity Spaces, you can technically invite people up here as contributors to a space, but from a pure organizational perspective, if I click into Spaces, I don't like this as much as if I'm comparing it to Claude projects and using them within a team. I know I'm kind of grasping at straws with that last one there, but that is a benefit of Claude projects over Perplexity Spaces. So now I want to hear your thoughts on Claude projects versus perplexity spaces. I know I'm starting to prefer spaces over Claude projects, but what do you prefer? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Be sure to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel if you found value. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.